Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the Algebra 1 concept of writing quadratic equations. This is standard A.6B in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 43 off the 2019 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a function here, and it is actually given to us in vertex form. That is going to be one of the expressions or the equations that you can actually find on your mathematics chart if you ever need it. And it looks like this, y equals a x minus h squared plus k. And if we ever can find a quadratic function that looks like that, that is very helpful because the h and the k are actually the x and y coordinates of the vertex of our parabola. So we pull those out of the vertex form and then that a lets us know if it's a negative a that we're actually going to be opening down as a parabola and if it is a positive a we're actually going to be opening up as a parabola. So it's very very helpful. Now. How do we get from this vertex form over to look at our four answer choices here? Those are all in standard form. So there's a standard form for quadratic functions just like there's a standard form for linear functions. And what we don't want are any uh, expressions that still need to be multiplied out. We want everything in like terms. So we want an x squared, we want an x, and then we want any type of constant just kind of off at the end. So how do we translate from one to the other? Well, we need to make sure that we remember the steps of FOIL. That's what happens when we multiply expressions and we're going to need to multiply expressions. So we multiply the first, then we multiply the outer, the inner, and the last. We add them up. So let's Let's write this here. We have y equals 3 and then x plus 2 squared plus 7. So really what I need to do is I need to take that x plus 2 and I need to write it out twice. Because that's what squared means, right? You multiply it by itself. So I'm going to get this x plus 2, another x plus 2, plus 7. So I'm really not going to mess with the 3 or the 7 at this point. My main work is going to be this x plus 2 times x plus 2. I'm going to FOIL out multiplying these two expressions, and that's where, where the real work is. So first, now we'll go ahead and write it within the actual equation here, because it's all going to need to be multiplied by 3. But first, we have the first terms. So the first terms in each of these expressions are x. So what is x times x? Pretty simple. x squared. Okay. Now we have the outer terms. So the outer terms is going to be that x and then that 2. So what is x times 2? Well, that's going to be a positive 2x. So now we have the inner terms. So the inside terms are going to be these two right here. 2 times x, that's another 2x. And then we get the last terms in each expression. So it's that 2 times 2. That's just going to be a constant. So 2 times 2 is 4 plus 7. Now, we're not done yet. We need to go ahead and combine any like terms we get there. And you're always going to get two terms that have the x you need to combine. So that's going to be 4x plus 4 plus 7. Now we need to distribute out that 3 and multiply that by each of the terms inside. So 3x squared plus 3 times 4 is 12x, plus 3 times 4 is 12. We could take the parentheses, parentheses off finally, but now we simply need to combine those like terms. I get a 12 plus 7. So after all of that work, we're going to get y equals 3x squared plus 12x plus 19. And this is the exact same as that. It looks completely different, but one is in vertex form, one is, is in standard form, and our answer here is B.